I don't recall anyone actively saying, oh, I don't like Cecil, as we used to call him. We had some very unkind names for some of the masters, but no one ever called Mr. Beebe anything other than Cecil. Over the decades, my feelings for our headmaster haven't really changed. I rather liked the old man. I use the word old because to us, yes, he was old. Yes, he lived in an ivory tower, but then, to be fair, countless millions of people of his class and education also lived in one. If you know what's going on in the real world, then you might find yourself morally obliged to do something about it. You might find yourself signing a petition, writing a letter, or, heaven forbid, demonstrating in public. Do the right sort of people demonstrate in public? Surely not. No, CHBB was really no different from the majority of the human race. I think he died thinking the world a good place on the whole. I think he died thinking that the members of the first eleven were gentlemen. I think he died thinking that rank outsiders and average cads were very much in the minority. CHBB, like millions of others, died without really facing some of the realities of life. The fact that people can still be detained without charge or trial for years on end, as at Guantanamo, and in many other parts of the world. In the United Kingdom, I think we forget all too often that we have been protected from such abuses since about the 13th century, Magna Carta and all that. The fact that under various dictatorships, particularly in South America, tens of thousands of people have disappeared, never to reappear. Today in 2013, Amnesty International has proof that in Egypt, women are being regularly tortured and raped by the security forces for no other reason than that they demonstrated peacefully against the then president of Egypt, Mr. Morsi. CHBB died not knowing that at least four of his masters and the school caretaker had strong pedophile tendencies. I'm not suggesting that anything physical took place. No inappropriate touching. I'm merely suggesting that those five individuals had strong pedophile fantasies. CHBB was a fortunate man. He died without being confronted by pedophilia, by male prostitution, by lesbian brothels. He died before the drug and betting scandals rocked the world of sport. Beebe was passionate about cricket. Bob Woolmer was one of my contemporaries at Skinner's. Beebe would have been mortified to learn about the accusations made against Woolmer shortly after his death. The reasons for which have never been made clear, the coroner's findings remaining uncertain. What I thank Beebe for is something that millions have never and will never learn, particularly in the world of professional soccer and certain other sports. And that is this, that winning and coming first are not the most important things in life. What is important is playing up and playing the game. A somewhat old fashioned notion, I think, today. However, for me and a few others, it still holds true. If the only way that you can win is to pump yourself with anabolic steroids or whatever, then to my way of thinking, the game isn't worth playing. I hope there are more CHBBs around. BB cared for the school and for those in his charge. For that, sir, I thank you.